Hey everybody, welcome back to a new episode of Tech and Food News. My name is Gary, and today we're going to be looking at Mikey Chen's Crispy Chili Oil. You might be asking, why you just reviewed that before? Well, that is a fact. He has a new one, and I have the original as well. Today we are going to be comparing the original with the new one. The last time I reviewed it, I think it was a short. We're going to kick things off with the pricing. So with the new bottle, it is new pricing as well. These retail for $14 a bottle. These are 5.8 ounces in each jar. The original one is six ounces. The original one is six ounces and this one retails for $12. As you guys can see, the pricing did go up on the new one. At the time of recording this video, he is running a, I think, 15% off, so you can actually get him for cheaper right now. I will leave links down below to his website if you guys are interested in picking it up, but at the time of recording this, he was having a 15% off discount on the oil, I think maybe everything on the website. Because yeah, right now I see uh, the new one is actually going for $11.90, and the old one is going for $10.20. So with the pricing out of the way, we're going to see what the difference is between the two. Uh, according to Mikey, he said that the new one is supposed to be hotter and spicier. Let's open it up and find out. All right, we're going to try the new one first since we have never tried that before. Just looking at the coloring, it looks pretty light. Let me mix it up here with my chopsticks. Seems like it's a lot more oily than the old one. I did put some of the oil on to the dumpling there. Coloring goes, it seems to be a little bit lighter than the original. Yeah, there's some of it on here. Let me just scoop it up into my dumpling and give it a taste. Mmm. <coughs> oh, these are spicy. Holy. This is way spicier than the original one. Mmm. Yeah, here's <coughs> oh man, just look at the hot sauce on the plate. As you can see, it's definitely a lighter shade. It is spicy. Let me pour some of the original one. All right, here's a view of the original. Less oil, it seems like, and more uh, ingredients, which is nice, which is what I liked about the original one. Uh, I did order a new bottle the same time I ordered the new one. They were bottled probably around the same time is what I'm guessing. Let's pour some out and see how it tastes. Here is the new chili oil. Seems like it's darker as far as the actual ingredients go, like the chilies, but there's a lot more oil. Here is the original one. Ingredients, the chilies are a little bit lighter, but there is less oil in this one and more of the actual ingredients themselves. All right, here is the dumpling with the original, the original crispy garlic chili oil. This one is way milder than the new one. Mm, definitely like the original one more. Still tasting the heat from the new one. All right, just a quick rundown of the nutrition facts of the new crispy garlic chili oil. Serving size, one tablespoon, 10 servings per container, 150 calories per serving. 11 grams of total fat, 300 milligrams of sodium, less than one gram of sugar, three grams of total carbohydrates, 4% iron, 2% potassium. Again, this bottle is 5.8 ounces, so it is less than the original one. The original one, nutrition facts, did serving size of one teaspoon instead of one tablespoon, so everything's gonna be a lot lower. Uh, the only difference is that there's gonna be 36 servings per container in this one, 30 calories per serving, 2.5 grams of total fat, 15 milligrams of sodium, zero grams of sugar, which is surprising because I thought the original one actually tasted a little sweeter, maybe because it's just less hot. <laughs> and this bottle, again, is six fluid ounces, Right, I'm going to try another dumpling with the new hot sauce. <clears throat> oh, wow, my tongue is burning. <laughs> 
Ugh, this is definitely spicier. But honestly, I don't taste much garlic. It's just hot. It's just hot sauce. Where's the garlic taste? If you guys like hot, you definitely will like the new one more than the old one. Hmm, these dumplings are really good too. <sighs> I'm dying. All right, here are my thoughts on the two. The new one is definitely spicier. If you guys want spicier, he definitely made it spicier, like he said. I also don't taste as much garlic in the new one. Um, it's just like heat. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. Just hot chilies and very little garlic taste. The original one, I do prefer more. It is milder, not as spicy as the new one. Plus it does have more garlic taste to it. It seems like they put less oil and more of the actual ingredients, which I like too. Some of the new bottles out there that you kind of find in the grocery stores, they tend to put a lot more oil in there and less of the chili flakes and chili and garlic. So I definitely prefer the original one more. But if you guys are into spicy and hot, definitely go with the new one. That being said, the original hot one that he made uh, over a year ago is actually pretty good too. Um, that one is pretty spicy as well, but it does have, I think, a lot more flavor than this new garlic one. As far as my recommendations go and which one I prefer, I do prefer the original one still. It's cheaper, you get more, cause that one is six ounces, the new one is 5.8 ounces. I think overall it just tastes better to me. Get the more garlic taste, less oil, more flavor. Definitely recommend the original one. It's also cheaper too, so it works out both ways. Again, if you guys are interested in any of these items, I will leave links down below to his website. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this one. Thank you all for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button down below. If you guys are interested in any of these items, I will also leave links down in the description. Thanks again for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye. And I'm gonna just go back in eating my dumplings. For frozen dumplings, these are actually pretty good.